Today is one of my favorite holidays. It's the Pueblo Pet Check. This is our sixth year. We have 350 pets registered for this event where they'll get free wellness exams as well as vaccines for their animals. Uh, that way we can keep the community's pet population really healthy and safe. Come on, Niner, smile for the camera. We have Ozzy and Lulu. Ozzy is a four-year-old um, American Eskimo Pomeranian mix. He was a rescue from a puppy mill. And then we got Lulu, she's a little chewini. She's about two. And she came from a shelter. Bella, my blue Russian kitty. She's four years old. Well, I was out front of the building earlier this morning where there were about 100 people lined up with multiple pets. And they're really grateful to be able to come and have this service provided to them for no cost. And many people are struggling in this economy to be able to take care of their families and their pets. Einstein, I've had him 11 years. He was a gift from my children. When my children left me and got married, I was sad. I came home from work one day and there he was sitting on my bed with a big blue ribbon. And I love him to death. He's been the best dog. He's loyal, he's content, he's happy and I'd be lost without him. We brought in Piper and yeah. Mia. <laughs> and they both had their rabies, parvo, nail clippings, and licensing. They're so grateful, they're so happy, and each of them has a special story about their pet, and so it's a day to kind of pamper the pet and pamper the owners as well. We've seen just a lot of people that really love their pets coming in, and, and they're so excited to be able to get these vaccines and get their animals checked out. The goal behind this is really to keep the animals healthy, keep the pets healthy, keep them in their homes with their families. Without that preventative care, infectious disease outbreaks put these pets at risk, which puts the humans at risk. And so this is really part of keeping the community happy and healthy by keeping their pets happy and healthy. It really helps us out a lot because we've got two. They provide immunity for a lot of the diseases that live in our community from distemper to parvo, which can be very, it can be fatal diseases if they're not treated. And they can be very expensive and very heartbreaking. This is my baby. He's a hugger. <laughs> start planning immediately after the end of our event every single year so it's really a year's worth of work that goes in and we do a lot of prep for two weeks leading up to this event where we're filling out paperwork we're getting registrations taken care of uh, we're making sure all of our volunteers are ready to help us out here we usually have about 40 volunteers helping with this event as well as staff members I saw this on Facebook and I didn't realize that it goes on every year, so this is our first year doing it, but I mean, hey, rabies shots, parvo shots, every year for free? That's, that's amazing, so we signed up like the day I saw it. We sold out our tickets in a little over 24 hours, and so what that tells me is people know about our event, they want to be part of it. The vets are great, they gave us a lot of information. We'll be taking her to get her teeth clean now. Just very informative. There's stuff we didn't realize and now we, we do. I think it's wonderful what they're doing for Pueblo. It really helps a lot of people and animals. Their companionship, they just make you feel better about yourself. I don't know, I, I can't put it in words. They're just lovable, they're, they're, they're uh, unconditional love. That human-animal bond is so important to the emotional well-being, the spiritual well-being of people. So if we can do everything on our part to keep these animals healthy and keep them home, I mean, what better thing than to keep families together? I don't know, there's just something about having a pet that makes you happy. Every day we, we thank God that we have these two. They, we out. We did. We really lucked out. They're our family. They're like our extra babies. They love us. I think probably even more than we love them. They look forward to us coming home every day, huh? Yes. And they protect us, huh? Or they try. <laughs> Especially yeah, they're just huge parts of our family. You can't replace them. 